we want to form a triangle with our, our base, which means our knees are outside our hips and our ankles are outside our knees. Okay. One of the reasons why we need that triangle base, we need outside, is that allows our hips to come through, right? My, Jimmy Wallace hit it on the head, right? My, my toes are pointed out, right? Where's the weight? In step, right? Because as all often the defensive line, we want to stay grounded, we want to stay cleats in the ground. Right? So I want to have the weight on the instep so I can, I can drive in, I can take those small shuffle steps when needed. Right? The term is guard. Okay? So triangle base, the term is guard. What am I protecting in guard? Chest. Chest right? I'm not a boxer, I don't need to protect my face. Right? I can be here, but I actually want to protect my chest. Okay? So I carry my elbow about six inches off my body, four to six inches off my body. I'm going to be long and I want to be in position that I'm protecting my chest, right? So my arms are almost perpendicular to the ground, right? Our strike point is where, right? Inside bone, right? So we hold the punch bowl, was the analogy that they used last year, right? We hold the punch bowl or your, your chalice of, uh, of Corona. Corona Rita, so, right? Base. Right, weight shift to the instep, instep, long, I'm presenting my weapon, right, and then I simply, knees, ankles, hips, the term they use is, or we use is condense. So then I just condense my posture into a place that I'm ready to move, right? One, we want to say we play inside the frame of our body. So I actually want my elbows to be inside the frame of my body. From, the, from behind, you should never see the elbows, right? The moment the elbow gets outside the frame of the body, if there's any compression, where's my elbow go? Right, I can break down that posture. If I'm inside the frame of my body and there's compression, I actually have a brace that Right, it's incredibly strong. That you, how much you can withhold brace on here using your body instead of trying to brace with muscle, right? Because this is all muscle. Here, I can just align my body to absorb the force, and as long as I'm grounded and my center is right, I can eat that force. Rotation of the elbow is what can cause that brain to get elbows back. Right, so when we say elbows in. A better way to talk about it is actually the rotation of the elbow. If I don't want my elbow to break out, I have to make sure my elbow is aligned so that it's down. So now if my elbow breaks, it breaks into the buttress, okay? So in the force deflection model, hips drive hands. We are gonna use our hips to drive our hands, okay? So my hips go first and my hands are held in a solid, rigid position that just is the delivery mechanism, right? So we're not generating power from hand, we're generating power from hip, and postures hold this as my delivery mechanism, right? So now when Brad's coming to, to block me, and I'm coming in here, right, we're both fairly low, his hips drive come first and drive the hands, right? <clears throat> so he's initiating from there, that's our sequencing difference. It does put him in a slightly different body position, right? He's not gonna be in the drive position. He's gonna be in our arc strength position, right? Where he has some hips extended, feet behind him so he can push. We don't want over extension. We want neutral spine, right? Key point there. And now he's going to strike on the rise, same as we talked about before. So we back it up. Steps. I'm just initiating from the hip, but I can single arm bridge, right? If you're a single arm stay square guy, so I, except for, instead of the step, right, and coming here, I'm initiating from the hip, but I'm still trying to, lo trying to land as heavy as possible, right? Can I, if I'm a gallop guy, right, can I initiate from the hips and have my chase still be gallop, right? If I'm gonna be, right, a high school guy who's gonna straight deuce it and say, I want four hands on, right? Can I initiate from the hips and you get, four hands on mm -hmm. before 
I come off of the second, the second level? The answer is yes, right? It's just to me about how I'm initiating the strike. It's still a hand strike. It's still a strike. It's still heavy. It's still trying to alter his posture so I can dominate him and knock him back. We just start to think about hips going first, which generates momentum, which then allows me to land incredibly heavy. It's down blocks, or when we get to outside blocks, it's much different, right? Because I don't have this aim point, right? I don't have a target, we go back to tackling, right? My target area is much different. So we have a completely different down block technique, right? Because I'm gonna have to go to the side and I'm gonna work the hip and I'm gonna try to push it down. Yeah. On a base or a zone, I'm on a base or a zone, right? I'm trying to work to that offset position so that I can still strike to the edge of the shoulder pads and be able to control, which is very easy from here. Now, if we think line play, we're working to offset and that's all gonna be about our initial footwork. The exact same holds true for second level blocks, right? We get, it's almost like our tracking. You start to think of it like tackling. My job is to get to the second level to try to find these offset positions so that I can throw the strike, right? But it's about our tracking to the spot, very similar to tackling, that allows me to engage the technique. So my initial steps will be determined by the play call. Whether I'm gonna lateral step into the zone, whether I'm gonna bucket step, whether I'm pulling, there's gonna be a multitude of different options. All that matters is from my stance, right? Whatever step I'm taught, or I'm gonna have to use, right? I, so I, I'm gonna lateral step here, right? I'm gonna take that jab step. When I lateral, can I find that position? I'm gonna bucket. Can I find that position, right? I'm gonna come this way. I need to orient myself here. Can I find that position? Can I find that position? I'm gonna work through the second level, right? I'm gonna clear the first level. I'm coming up to the linebacker. Can I find that position? I actually think this is harder for skill guys, especially at the high school level, than it is for big guys. Because skill guys spend their entire time running on their what? Toes. Right? And when they cut, they probably use a little instep, right, and drive off. But their whole life is there. Now we want them to make a stop block, right? When they come to balance, how are they coming to balance? Sleeps or toes? Right? Toes forward, and they're normally breaking down like they're doing an agility drill. Right? So the training for them to go from speed to power, which is gonna be condensed with cleats in the ground, has to be actually more focused and more rigorously trained for skill guys to get to that position. I need him to get to a cleats in the ground position so if he engages that stop, he can move with it, right? He can shuffle with it, he can absorb those forces. So all extension from the hips, delivery mechanism, right? I'm uncoiling my hips. So I'm coiled, now I uncoil the hips. I'm gonna work from fit to coil. We're gonna work it backwards, okay? So just find that little hip and that little lip. So go ahead and this, I wanna stay in this bridge position, right? So my feet and my hips, hips. hips are gonna take away the space. Okay, so coach, pop out here real quick for me. So as I strike in, right, we wanna, we wanna chase our feet and close the hips, right? So I wanna close the hips. But I, what's my relationship here? Right? So close. I'm still in the bridge. I'm not extending out. I'm, what happens if I give him space? I wanna eat up the space, so I close my hips. Feet up, feet are in that shoulder line. Um, uh, Cleats in the ground, in Extension to fit, extension to fit. Keep your elbow inside the frame, right? Only do this because you just want to feel that posture. So go ahead and give me some pressure. All right, I want to feel what that, feel that pressure. 
right? So go ahead and partner up again, right? If I can strike and I'm strong through my lats and my shoulders and I can torque in and I can keep here, stay friggin' here.